Hey gang, welcome to Ask the Doctor, where you submit your questions to us and we do our very best to get you answers. Okay, today's question we're gonna go over is from uh, Angelo. And Angelo asks, can you please show us what the benefits of taking N-acetylcysteine are? You'll often hear me refer to this as NAC. Hi Angelo, I'd be happy to. Um, you know, I absolutely love this nutrient and I'm not gonna be able to go into all of the benefits because they're really uh, wide. I mean, there are just so many benefits. Um, and at some point, Dr. C or I will do a video on it because it, you know it's a pretty important topic. But let's cover a few of the important ones for you right now. So first, let me start off by saying, N-acetylcysteine comes from the amino acid L-cysteine, and it's a precursor to glutathione. So this means the body relies on NAC in order to produce glutathione, which, one of the, which is one of the most potent free radical scavengers your body naturally produces. Now, functional medicine healthcare practitioners have known about the benefits of N-acetylcysteine for decades, and its benefits go far beyond just replenishing glutathione stores. For instance, it has the ability to reduce oxidative damage caused by free radicals. And the reason this is so important is because oxidative damage impacts so many of our body systems, including your liver, respiratory system, brain, and immune system. So here's a brief overview of how NAC supports these systems. Let's start with your liver, which is a major player in removing toxic chemicals and pollutants from your body. Well, we get constant exposure to toxins every day from the food we eat, the air that we breathe, air pollution, we've got chemicals in our house and in our personal care products. These all can cause your liver to become overworked and overloaded. When this happens, your liver will then struggle to flush these toxins out of your body. And when it can't, because the load is too large, the toxins will get stored in different tissues from fat to muscles to fascia, etc. This is what results in unexpected diseases. So as NAC increases glutathione production, which happens in the liver, it aids the liver's um, ability and it helps prevent or minimize toxic overload. It also helps to protect liver cells from oxidative stress. Next, NAC supports the respiratory system, including your lungs, because it can break up and dissolve mucus in the airways, along with reducing oxidative stress and inflammation in the lungs. This function alone has made it a big player in treating COVID patients. NAC also helps facilitate an immune system response, preventing it from getting out of control. Now, this is extremely important in autoimmune diseases and even allergies. Don't forget, a diet loaded with processed foods or exposure to environmental toxins, not to mention conditions like leaky gut or chronic stress, these all can cause your immune system to fire uncontrollably and attack healthy tissue. That's what we call an autoimmune disease. Well, N-acetylcysteine promotes a healthy inflammatory response by not only reducing oxidative damage, but it can also modulate or control the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines. This is extremely important in COVID-19 cases, which triggers a cytokine storm. Um, and that's part of what causes so many pulmonary issues. NAC can also assist and strengthen the immune system by increasing the production of T cells, which we call killer cells, because they play a crucial role in the body's defense against infection and disease. NAC also supports brain health by promoting the function of several key neurotransmitters in the brain, which have a significant impact on learning, memory, and mood. Now, I've just touched upon the tip of the iceberg when it comes to NAC's ability in the body. And I really wanna thank you for this great question, Angelo, and we'll be able to expand on this in a future video. We love all of your questions and we ask you guys to please keep them coming.